Hi everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. And today I want to show you how to white label cPanel to your brand. If you're one of our resellers here at Name Hero, one of the most often requests we get is how do I brand cPanel to make it look like my company? They don't want to see Name Hero's logo. They want to show you that their company's logo or just the basic cPanel logo. So I'll show you how you can do this. And the only requirement is that either, you either have a reseller hosting account with us, a VPS hosting account with us, or a cloud dedicated server. So one of these three packages is which ones you have to have to be able to white label cPanel. Now obviously if you have our basic web hosting, it's got the Name Hero logo, which I'll show you an example here in just a second. So if you're not familiar with our reseller hosting at Name Hero, I most definitely recommend checking it out. You know, if you're, if you're a WordPress developer or a theme developer, or maybe you have a plugin and you're looking at an extra rev or looking for an extra revenue stream for your customers, our reseller plans allow you a quick, easy and affordable way to offer a premium hosting product. As your business grows, you can of course order our VPSs and our dedicated and customize everything up to the operating system. But most of our resellers, they really like our offerings we have here because they come standard with Lightspeed web server, solid state drives of RAID 10, free and automatic SSL, and all the tools you need to be successful. You know, for 1372 a month for our silver all the way to 3683 a month for our diamond, you know, you can create a lucrative revenue stream for not that much money a month. So if you have not already checked them out, please do so. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make cPanel look just like it's for your company and it really provides a great experience for your customers. So first let's log in to the Name Hero control panel. I'm going to hover over account and go to log in. And I've got a demo account here, so let me access it. If you're following along, feel free to do so. Okay, so this is my main dashboard. And the first thing is I wanna show you what it looks like when you brand cPanel to your company name. So at Name Hero, we have cPanel on our web hosting packages, and let me show you what it looks like. So if I click Cloud Web Hosting, if I scroll down, I've got a bunch of test domains and stuff we've messed with here. If I go to Starter Cloud and then click Login to cPanel, you're going to see here at the top, it says Name Hero instead of cPanel. And you can see all the way through, there is a cPanel logo here, but for the most part, it's branded to your company. So if you're a reseller, this will be branded to your name. Um, also at Name Hero, if they need to submit a support ticket, so if I type in, let's see, I might not have it on here. Let me look down here. Yes, I don't have the application links on my account, but you can also make it to where your customers can click over to log a ticket um, inside your interface here. Now this is an older account I have set up, so I don't have the application links to show you, but I can show you on a demo reseller account. So let me walk you through this. So this is assuming that you have either a reseller, a VPS, or a dedicated with us. So let's go back to our client area here and let's go into our reseller account. So I'm just gonna go to portal home, whoops, back to the main page. And I'm going to use my gold reseller here. I'm demoing with WSPhost.com. Okay, so what I want to do is go into Web Host Manager. So under Actions, I can log into Web Host Manager here, or I could also do it down here, log into Web Host Manager. Okay, so once I log in here, Web Host Manager, essentially, that's the back end for all of your clients' websites. This is where, um, this is what sets them up, so to speak. Now, if you're using WHMCS, and this is a example demo install that I have, um, you know, it's likely you're using kind of this for your back end, which connects to WHM and then creates the accounts for you. But we need to do this inside of Web Host Manager. It's how we need to customize this. So in the search box up here, we're just gonna start typing in customization, so CUS gets it right under here. So when we click that, you're going to see we have three different tabs to customize the branding, customize the style, as well as the public contact. So let's talk about each one of these. First is the company name. So this is going to be shown in various places um, inside of cPanel to your customers. So since my example or demo reseller account is WSPhost.com, um, that's what I'm going to use for my company name here. And you should, you know, update yours accordingly. So WSPhost, actually let's just call it like this, WSPhost.com. Help link. 
So this is gonna generate a help link inside of cPanel. So when your customers are inside of cPanel, if they need to go to um, submit a ticket, this would be an appropriate place to put that link. So if you use WHMCS, let me show you where you would find that. So this is my demo admin area of WHMCS for my reseller account. And remember, on all of our gold, platinum, and diamond reseller accounts, you get a free WHMCS license. It's a huge value, and I'm not really trying to sell it in this video, but just kind of let you know that it's so versatile. It'll let you, you know, your clients sign up and provisions in and bills in, but it also has a support desk so they can send tickets into you and you can better organize and help them. So what I want to do is I've got a demo client account. So this is what your clients, kind of what it would look like if your clients had signed up with you and I used the demo domain realbonds.com for WSP host. So you can see if your clients, you know, log into cPanel, they're going to have a link here. So we want to be able to show them features of your WHMCS inside of cPanel. So first, let's grab that support link. So if I go to support and tickets, you can see on the left side here, I've got a link called open ticket. So right here is where your customers would go to log a ticket. And so I'm going to take this URL right up here and copy it and put this inside of Webhost Manager. So this is gonna be my help link. Next, documentation link. Now, you can leave this blank. If you leave it blank, it won't generate the link, but if you have documentation, so if I go back to my demo site and I go to support and knowledge base, you know, this is an area to where you can actually write articles for your customers. So this looks like in the, the back end of WHMCS in the admin area, if you go to support and you go to knowledge base, this is where you would control that. So you would add articles in here. Actually, you have to add a category first, and then you can add an article, and they would show up inside of here. So this is really beneficial you know, for your customers to have all the documentation on how your hosting service works. And so if they're in cPanel and they need, they need help, they can one, log a ticket, or they can go to your documentation. So I can take this link right here and copy this, and I can put this right inside of here for my documentation link. So this way they can click over to cPanel to either submit a ticket or the documentation. Okay, so next, the company logo. And so this is what I was talking about, um, you know, adding a logo just like we have at Name Hero on cPanel, but it said, instead it shows your own company. So this, this must be a SVG or PNG image and the optimal size is 250 by 50. So if you have your logo, you need to tell your web designer, your developer, or if you're familiar with Photoshop or, you know, you can really go to image, Google image resizer and you can find one online, but that's the optimal size for it to fit and look really nice. Now, if you just want to replace this, let's say you don't have a logo yet, and you're like, you know, Ryan, I, I want, I don't want to show no name hero, but I also don't have my logo ready. So what do I do? Well, that's fine. You can use cPanel's logo. So, so if I head over here to cPanel's website, they've got a section somewhere down here to where they have their logo file. So it's somewhere in here, and you can download all of their logos. But it's really just as easy to take this bad boy here and save this. And you, know, you can throw it on your desktop, call it cPanel. And you can go back to Webhost Manager and just browse for this file on your computer and upload it. So you can see here, I've got it here. It's logo. Or I can just click it here, cPanel.svg. And same for webmail. The default webmail is already going to show. It's already going to show just webmail's um, default logo and as well as fav, fav icon. So by default, there's not a fav icon. Um, or wait, there is, I'm sorry. There's already a cPanel fav icon. So if you wanna add your company name, you can do that as well. A fav icon must be a .ico image and it's 32 by 32 pixels um, wide. And again, if you don't know how to generate a fav icon, um, you can Google it. Um, but you could also use like a PNG file and just rename it on your computer .ico and that will also work. Um, but let me show you what happens. So I'm just gonna save this. And I'm gonna go back over here to my demo customer account. So again, this is like what a customer would see. Um, you know, this is the dashboard and stuff. This is what you get with your reseller account. You know, so your customer sees all of this, but if they would to, were to log into cPanel, click log into cPanel, this is what they see. You see your, your cPanel logo is here. And let's see, our, your knowledge base is right here. So it says search our knowledge base. If you click it, See, it directs you to here. Now, I don't have any articles in this, but you know, hopefully if you're um, you know, generating your site, you're gonna make some articles and stuff for your customers. Um, you also see you can, your customers can manage their billing. 
information. This goes right here to either your WHMCS, and also they can open a ticket. So right here under open a ticket, it redirects you right here. So see it adds all these billing and support links right in there for you. So your customers can really do everything within cPanel, even going back and forth to your billing platform, you know, even to register a domain or transfer a domain, you know, viewing their support tickets, upgrading their package, you know, doing everything from cPanel. You know, customers like to keep it simple. You want to keep it simple for your customers, you know, keep everything in one spot. And, you know, the cool thing about cPanel is it formats for mobile phones. So if your customers, you know, on their iPhone or smartphone, they can easily access all of this stuff too. But this just looks, you know, it looks more professional. So obviously you want to remove Name Heroes logo. So if you don't have yours yet, it's completely appropriate to use cPanels. And again, on their website, you can download all of their um, logo packs. So I think they have white ones and stuff, the official logos. You know, it's important not to, mod not to modify their logo because that would obviously violate some of their terms. Um, but, you know, just keep it intact. And yeah, it's completely appropriate to use until you get your own logo made. But once you get your own logo made, you can also replace it with your brand inside of there. So this is just another way that our reseller service at Name Heroes, 100% white labeled to you, you know, even up to the control panel your customers use. You know, this could say your company name and they have all their links from not only how they manage their site, you know, from file manager to installing WordPress, but also integration with your billing system. You know, it's everything is integrated um, to your business where they don't see Name Hero, they don't see anything else, they just see you and your business and you're able to start with just one of our reseller hosting packages. So let us know if you have any questions. Oh, and actually, while I'm still doing this video, let me go back in here because there's two other things that I, I do want to mention that's in here is customized style. Um, cPanel has some additional styles inside of inside that's already built in. Um, so they have their basic, which is you know the one you're kind of seeing now, but they also have a dark style and then a, another light style here and as well as the retro style. So you can also set these as default as well. You know, if you don't want to use the you know typical um, or the default cPanel theme, you could go to the light. If I set it as default, let's see if it changes here. If help me log in, have, yeah, I'm gonna have to log out. Let's log out and log back in, see if it changes. No, it still didn't change. I think I might have to do it inside of here now. Let's see, light. Well, no, that is the light one. So I guess these have the same. I might need a hard refresh, but let's see if the dark one would apply. Yep, there's the dark one. So see, you can even customize the look of cPanel. You know, me personally, I don't like the dark style here, but I mean, I guess it does look all right. For me, it's just a little hard on my eyes, but I know some of our customers, actually a lot of our customers like to use it. Um, but you know, just you can customize the whole look and feel. And you can also download the style to your computer and if you're a coder, you can make um, you know you can make some modifications to it as well. So after you download it, you can then upload it back and you know, really um, do some work on it. So they've got their a guide to do that, and um, then of course there's to update the theme and style for multiple accounts or a script. So you'd actually have to have our team run this for you if you're doing that. But um, I guess the biggest point I want to make is you know the logo and the links and all that. That's one part of it. But if you want to take it another step further, you can actually download. The the style and, and do all of that and you know really get specific about it um, and then finally they do have their public contact section and it says on here you know when a user wants to contact the hosting provider they sometimes can't you know locate the information so this just helps um, people that need to contact you do so so you can also enter your brand here as well as your website URL so in my case wsphost.com and save it Okay, so I think, you know, for most people watching this video, you're going to want to at least do the customized branding. I know some of our customers, especially if you're a developer and, you know, you're really familiar with HTML, you know, you might want to dive in to customize style and make it look, you know, really custom than the public contact. You know, that's just a little extra that you can do. So, you know, make sure your customers or, you know, maybe someone else interested in hosting that's landing on a public area of your customer's control panel side or something, you know, can see that you are the provider. So there's three different things to do that. Um, 
Um, it's all inside of customization, inside of Web Host Manager, and you can kind of control that whole customer experience, the whole look and feel, so it's white labeled to your brand and not Name Hero. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. If this video helped you, you know, certainly give us a thumbs up on YouTube. That hey, I look at the thumbs up and the thumbs down. The more thumbs up, then I know that you like these type of videos, and I'm gonna do more of them. The more thumbs down, then I know it probably didn't help you, and you probably don't want more like this. So that's kind of how I gauge. Um, and again, feel free to leave comments. I love reading comments and replying to them and interacting with you all. So feel free to do that as well. So until next time, I'm Ryan Gray, and this is NameHero.com.